Black women are wonderful. Black women are powerful, we're beautiful, we're smart. Black women are my world, and have always been. My name is Billy Avery, and um, what I like most about myself, um, two things, I like my creativity, and I like my ability to, um, to tough things out and to really hang in there until, um, until that goal is accomplished. I moved to Atlanta in 1981, and at that time I was on the board of the National Women's Health Network. And I started meeting with small groups of black women. And the first idea I had was to do a conference. We knew that as we planned that conference, we were planning a conference for us. And we met quarterly for two years to put the conference on. We thought we'd have two or 300 people come, you know, and it was over 2,000. The place was so packed until there were women sitting in the aisles. There were people three deep outside the windows looking in. That's just how powerful it was. We went on with three days of workshops and talking. It was just a wonderful, warm, loving coming together of people. And we were all talking about our health. And it was really there that women started breaking the conspiracy of silence. It was spellbinding, it was powerful, it was risky, and we grew from it. Black Women's Health Imperative is a place where black women spend time thinking about improving the health of black women. Health is a problem. We spend a lot of time taking care of other people ahead of ourselves. We don't talk about our issues. We keep them to ourselves. That's like our business. So we started to talk to black women about talking about our bodies, ourselves, who we are, learning how to take care of ourselves. And really understand that feeling. Melissa, um, of that aloneness sometimes. When you talk out loud in the presence of others about what's happening to you, they think about what's happened to them. Telling your life story is the most powerful thing that a human being has, and it's the one of the few things that's uniquely theirs. You do have personal power, and you can be in control of your life. Nobody else sits around and thinks about these issues the way we do. It advocates for women in places where other people don't. It provides information. We do that through four primary areas. We have a program we call Change Your Lifestyle, Change Your Life, which is helping women modify their behaviors to live their, their, their healthiest lifestyle. My Sister's Keeper is focused on young women, women in college, to help them understand how policy uh, affects their health. We also have a, a significant reproductive justice program. And the fourth primary area we focus on is research translation. So we take the, the science and turn it into language, programs, messaging, policies, that the everyday woman can understand, that policymakers can understand, to give her and policymakers the information and tools they need to advocate for health and implement policies that promote health. And we make no bones about it. We are not here to take care of the children. We're not here to take care of the men. We're not here to take care of anybody but black women. This is their organization. The mission of the Black Women's Health Imperative is complete when a woman can wake up in the morning and go about her day and know that her choices about her health 
won't be impacted by racism or sexism or classism or any other barrier, that she'll simply be able to do the things that she needs to do to live her healthiest and happiest life. Our work is, is daunting, it's, it's definitely cut out for us. But the, the wonderful thing is these issues could actually be solved in the next five to 10 years. It just means coming together, it means political will, the policies need to be in place, and women need to have access to the tools and the information that they need to do exactly what we already want to do. Well, I think the future is limitless, that it is only bound by what we think it can be. And I say once we unleash our creativity, claim all of who we are, chart our own course, the world better watch out, because we're doing it.